Shalom, covering you. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. I guess this evening we're going to be looking at probably the most provocative title I've ever personally used, Bernie Sanders, United States' first Jewish Catholic president. Now, it's not a prediction. It's only to kind of throw in there a little thought there for people to think about because he was invited recently to the Vatican in order to speak at a, a an economic uh, conference there at the Vatican. It has stirred up a lot of debate. It actually caused me to look a little bit closer to this relationship because once the Vatican, especially before an election, has taken a candidate, uh, a presidential candidate, and invited them to speak, that's pretty heavy weight. That is pretty much the letting the world know, letting the United States people know that the Pope of Rome is definitely behind that candidate without endorsing them directly. Uh, that is provocative in itself. It has caused a lot of debates. But you may find out, though, that there is an agenda going on in behind this. It's not just Bernie Sanders being called to the Vatican to speak. There is a much bigger agenda. And I don't know if I really brought in enough uh, information in the broadcast tonight to really express what I'm thinking about. But let me just first sum it up like this here. I believe that the Vatican is working on a new world order. They already have been working on a one world religion. They want a one world government. And the Vatican needs certain key players in that government. And Bernie Sanders fits the bill. Now, we're going to hit on a subject that has really been a, been a firestorm the last couple of days. It's been news as well. But you're going to find out why Bernie Sanders plays into that position as well as a New World Order President of the United States. And that may be the way I end up titling the video, New World Order President Bernie Sanders. All right, let's look at why I'm saying this here. The Guardian, on April the 8th of 2016, Bernie Sanders to preach against the idolatry of money during the Vatican visit. Well, it's a socialist ideology. It's exactly the way the Pope of Rome is thinking right now. He has a very interesting idea, something that we found in the Apocalypse of Thomas that stated that there would be a leader that raises up out of the South that after the Roman army had been bankrupt, he would take the money from the, from the elderly and redistribute it among the, the poor. Of course, you'll never see the Vatican redistribute the gold of Rome. That's certainly one thing that will not happen. Anyway, the article here states here, Bernie Sanders plans to warn against the idolatry of money. In a speech at the Vatican next week, which Democratic candidate hopes will align his insurgent uh, presidential campaign with the moral preaching of, the, of Pope Francis. What the Pope has been clear about is linking the issue of morality with the global economy and making the point that you can't have a moral economy when so many people are living in poverty, Sanders told The Guardian. Well, that sounds exactly like Pope Francis right off the press. It's also interesting to note that even though Sanders has been pretty much at the throat of uh, Hillary Clinton, so to speak, uh, Hillary Clinton has been very cautious about bringing any slander against Bernie Sanders himself. In fact, when she was asked flat out in an interview recently uh, she on Fox News, she stated back that I have nothing negative to say about Mr. Sanders. She said, I would rather him be president than Donald Trump. Something is really going on. Something is up. And I do believe it is a new world order plan. That's what I think is really going on. Now, April the 8th of 2016, on CNN's headline news there, they put out Pope to Church, be more accepting of divorced Catholics, gays, and lesbians. Now, it's kind of interesting the way the Pope worded that, or the way the title words it, divorced Catholics, gays, and lesbians. Let's see what he said in this. Pope Francis put his shoulder to the doors of the Catholic Church, shoved them open a little wider Friday, calling for the church to be more tolerant in practice while not changing any official doctrines. He urged priests around the world to be more accepting of gays and lesbians, divorced Catholics, and other people living in what the church considers irregular situations. Now, it's not just that the Pope is doing this either. You also find that Bernie Sanders is been a longtime advocate of the gay and lesbian community. He states here on October the 8th of 2015 how Bernie Sanders evolved on gay marriage. Today, some are trying to rewrite history by saying they voted for one anti-gay law to stop something worse. 
Sanders told a group of top Democratic organizers without saying Clinton's name. That's not the case. There was a small minority opposed to discriminating against our gay brothers and sisters, and I am proud that I was one of those members, quote unquote Bernie Sanders. Now, the thing is, it's not just Bernie Sanders. All right, now notice Bernie Sanders has seemed to follow this ideology for some time, but the shocking fact that came out that uh, a, a dear brother sent me today was this article where it says Israeli Orthodox rabbinical group calls for accepting of gays and lesbians. This was on Haaretz, April the 10th of 2016, came out yesterday. Dozens of religious Zionist rabbis urged their communities last night to be tolerant of gays and lesbians, though stressing that religious prohibition on gay sex remains unchanged. Doesn't that sound just like the Catholic Church? I mean, the Pope, two days before then, makes a very similar declaration, and yet at the same time, unchanging in the policy of the Church, just saying be more tolerant, all right? Now, Although forbidden sexual relationships must not be permitted, there's room for leniency and attitudes towards social inclusion and for accepting them into the community. The rabbis wrote in a religious opinion issued by the Beit Halil organization. The opinion said gays could serve in any communal capacity, including leading prayer. The signatory's goal, it added, was to present an approach that combines law with compassion and peace in order to magnify the Torah and increase love, brotherhood, and peace. Friends, this sounds like, to me, part of the one world religion. The papacy has made a declaration on how we're to accept the gay and lesbian community, and the Jewish rabbis have followed suit in issuing the same decree to their own people. Do you not think that they're not wanting a particular man in the White House to lead a new world order as well? Not just the religious order is set in place. Now we see the rabbis are taking their orders from Rome and they're obeying what Rome has to say. Now I will make it clear myself. As far as human beings, they're human beings, just like we are. It's not some other kind of race of people, by no means. Gays and lesbians have a right to be human beings just as we have a right. They're living in sin just like many people are living in sin, just like many so-called Christians are out there lusting after other women, committing adultery on their wives or on their husbands or either whichever way it may be. Sin is sin, and that's where it comes down to. It doesn't make one sinner worse than the other. Okay, so I'm not, I don't, I definitely do not condone the lifestyle, but I don't condone adultery either. And I do not condone lusting after women. And I do not condone pedophilia. And I do not condone all these other evils and wicked things that are going on in the world. And in fact, when you have any of these things, none of these people have any right to be leading in prayer. So I condemn this about the rabbi saying that they could lead in prayer. Now, what they do need to do, and that's in the case of all these groups here, they all need to be on their knees before God and praying and asking for God to forgive them. But this is not what we're talking about. We are looking at a problem of a new world order, a one world religion. This is what's happening. This is why you see that the Catholic Church, they make the announcement, the Pope makes the announcement, and then of course the rabbis follow suit. They are under the papacy now. This is why they signed that order for the Nostra Aetate. 14 Israeli rabbis were included on that, including Rabbi Lau, who is the chief rabbi of Israel. One of the chiefs, there's two chief rabbis, all right? And now they're talking about they want to be like the Catholic Church and only have one chief rabbi. It'd make it easier for the Pope to be able to hand down the orders, no doubt. Anyway, let's move right along. Amidst pushback, Bernie Sanders rum rumored to suspend the trip to speak at the Vatican. All right, this is on Britbart.com, April the 11th, 2016. It's kind of got me up in, up in the air whether or not we should go there and try to cover this directly. Uh, from what I understand, though, I would not actually be able to get in. Brother Bob had sent me an, an email about that. He said it doesn't look like it's open to the public. Uh, although Bernie is supposed to speak there, I'd love to be able to, to capture this because to me this is major news that is breaking here. You are seeing new world order being set in motion. A Roman... News agency specializing in Vatican affairs has reported that following the controversy, Sanders may call his visit off and postpone it 
for a more opportune moment, the agency uh, uh, Il, Il Sism Sismografo also notes that there has been no official confirmation that Bernie Sanders will take part at the Vatican meeting, even though Bishop uh, Sanchez himself sent a letter on April the 8th announcing Santa, uh, Sanders' participation. I have checked the official website for the Vatican on this. He is speaking. He is on the calendar with about another uh, probably 20 or so people that will be speaking as well. Uh, it is a huge delegation from around the world that would be speaking there. Bernie Sanders is there. But, you know, the thing is, the damage is done. The whole point for the Vatican putting him in this position here was to show the Vatican or the Catholic people in the United States to get behind this man and vote him in. This is what they want in. Now, I can't say that he will win, but dadgum, I'm going to tell you something, guys. It looks like he's going to get that presidential election. It looks like that the Vatican itself is behind Bernie Sanders as a New World Order leader. Look what happened in Canada. My brothers and sisters from Canada, you know this as well. You guys had a wonderful, wonderful prime minister, and he got ousted. And I said he was going to get ousted. I said, why? Because he's not lining up with what the Vatican wants. The Pope doesn't want that kind of prime minister. See, they wanted a prime minister that doesn't love Israel. Unless it's with the Vatican at the head of Israel. So he lost and was put out. And that's happening also in Europe as well. Leaders are being put out and socialists are being put into place. It's very serious, friends, what's going on. Another thing, too, that I noticed as well that, that uh, Bernie does that is a major thing for him and as well as with the Pope of Rome. This was the title of the article. The picture doesn't come on the same article. Vatican trip could boost Sanders' fight against Clinton. Reuters, April the 9th of 2016. Now... On the picture, though, when I found this picture here, in Michigan, Bernie Sanders had gotten the majority of the Muslim vote because he is very much for the Muslim people. And again, I am definitely not against the Muslim people at all. I believe that, that you know, they, they also, I don't agree with their doctrine, don't believe, agree with Islam, and I believe that they've been totally duped by the Vatican uh, into believing something that was never true in the first place. That's the sad part about the Muslim faith there. But... To me, they're people, and they are refugees, and, you know, if there's a safe way, you need to witness to them. This is the opportunity. But it is another thing. He is capitalizing on the Muslim people in order to get the vote as well. And, of course, he is all about that socialism there, and this is what the Pope of Rome wants. So I believe that Bernie Sanders may very well be your next Jewish Catholic president. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom and God bless you guys. Oh, by the way, don't forget, we do have a new address. I have not posted that as of yet on our website. It takes a little bit of time to get that up there. Uh, it will be here at the end of this video. And, uh, and we thank you, those of you that are supporting this work. And if you want to support this work, we do encourage you. Go to our website, IsraeliNewsLive.org. Uh, and you can uh, make a donation there. There's a donate but there or IsraelReturns.com. And if you mail it at the end of the video, you'll see on there our address. It's a post office box in the Czech Republic and to Danun Institute. Uh, anyway, thank you and God bless you for your love and, and kindness to this ministry. Shalom.